Okay, so today I'm gonna show you um, the timing chain and how to, how to set the timing chain. I'm gonna pull it off here in a minute, but before I do that, I kinda wanna show you, show you a couple of things how this works. This is a pretty standard uh, timing chain. This is a small block Chevy engine, one of our 350s that we've got in the shop. We've got a whole bunch of engines around here, but, um, and they're all the exact same as far as this setup goes. And the, this uses a uh, single cam. It's in, in the block. It's not an overhead cam like, like you see a lot of these days. It would have the cams up top. There's one cam. There's push rods. There's lifters push rods that go up to the valves. Uh, the valves open up and allow obviously the, the air and fuel to enter and exit the combustion chamber. So they have to be synced, okay? The crankshaft has to be synced with the camshaft because as this piston moves up and down, what you're gonna see is the, um, the valves need to open and close at the right time. So we have four cycles in an engine, uh, the, starting out with the piston at the top, and this is cylinder number one right here. Piston at the top, it's actually down here. Piston at the top. The first stroke is the intake stroke. When the piston moves down, the intake valve is open. Okay, then the intake valve closes, the piston goes up, the intake valve is closed still, then you have your spark, the spark plug creates ignition, the ignition pushes that piston down, that's what we call the power stroke, and then it's full of exhaust gas, so the next time that piston goes up, it's the exhaust stroke, and on that exhaust stroke, the exhaust valve has to be open. So the piston goes up and down two times for every uh, complete four strokes or one cycle okay that means that the crankshaft has to go around twice as fast as the camshaft which is why you'll see the crankshaft gear is half the size of the camshaft gear and if you don't believe me just kind of take a look at this so I've got this this is a little specialty tool we can use for the crankshaft snout it just locks in the little key here I've obviously taken the cover off I've taken the harmonic balancer off so that's something you're gonna to have to do ahead of time. Um, but we can watch how this thing spins here. There's a lot of compression because I still have all the spark plugs. The spark plugs are in here. The easier way to do this would be to pull all the spark plugs out. It'll spin a lot faster, a lot easier. Um, but if you notice here, there's a dot right there. I don't know if you can see that or not a little closer here so we've got two dots right there see how those dots are lined up there's one one on the crankshaft sprocket one on the camshaft sprocket both of those are now lined up perfectly okay those are those are my uh, timing marks all right so watch what happens I'm gonna prop this back up here I'm gonna mark this, I'm gonna mark that with an orange dot just so you can see it a little bit better. I guess not, it doesn't work. What about a Sharpie? There we go. See that a little bit better now? See that one a little bit better? So as I spin this, spin this crank, crankshaft now, half a turn or one stroke so that would have been the piston going from top to bottom another half a turn now if you'll notice this alignment mark this timing mark is right back where I started but the timing mark on the camshaft is all the way up here right that means that the cam has only gone around half for this to have gone around one time so do it again there's another, another stroke right there, and then one more. Now those two are lined back up again, okay? So when we go to set, uh, when we go to do this job, what I want everybody to do is, you're gonna take the gear off, 
you're going to take both of these gears off. This gear has to actually get pressed off because it's got these, um, these little keyways here. This is just unbolts off. And if you also notice, that little keyway lines up with the sprocket. That sprocket can only go on that crankshaft one way. And there's also a little dowel pin right here that's attached to the camshaft. This can only go on the camshaft one way. So if you put them on like this, so that those two lines are lined up, those two dots are line, aligned like that, that means that your base engine is exactly where it's supposed to be. Okay? So for my students, what I'm gonna have you do is take these gears off. I'm not gonna do it now, but take these gears off, show it to me, show me that everything is uh, off, and then what I'm going to do is have you put it back on. I'll probably spin the cam a little bit or something. And then have you put it back on. And it has to be on with that mark lined up like that. Okay. Once you've done that, then your base engine timing, base engine timing, okay, not ignition timing, but base engine timing is all set.